Hi everyone, I'm Math Wing Wing Man. In this video, we discuss how we can work out the value of x in this equation, 40 divided by x equals 5. Before we start, let's first discuss what's meant by the value of x. Actually, there's a number behind the piece of paper on which we write the letter x. When we say x, we refer to the number behind it. Literally, we use the letter x to represent the number behind it. Let's go back to our discussion. What is x? I mean, what's the number behind the letter x? Some of you may suggest that we can work out the answer by multiplying 40 and 5 together, and the answer is 200. Actually, it is a common mistake of working out the answer this way. But how can I convince you that 200 is not the number behind the letter x? Let's think of it this way. Look at this. It is an equation. It means that the value on the left equals the value on the right. If the number behind x is 200, what we have on the left is a fraction with 40 as the numerator and 200 as the denominator. Obviously, the numerator 40 is smaller than the denominator 200. When 40 is divided by 200, the result is less than 1. However, the number on the right is 5. How can a value that is less than 1 on the left equal 5 on the right? This means that the number behind x cannot be 200. Let's go back to our question. What's the number behind x? Instead of telling you a method directly, I'd like to analyze the meaning of the equation first. Actually, the equation means when 40 is divided by a number, the result is 5. Think about it carefully. The result is 5, and 5 is a factor of 40. This will only happen when 40 is divided by a factor of its own. Therefore, the number behind x must be a factor of 40. Let's list out all the factors of 40 to see which one fits the equation. The factors of 40 are 1 and 40, 2 and 20, 4 and 10, 5 and 8. Which of them fits the equation? Obviously, it is 8. 40 divided by 8 is 5. The next question is, how should we present the working steps if we work out the answer this way? I suggest we write out the working steps like this. First, we copy the equation to solve. Then we write Lastly, we write Personally, I call this method as factor selection method However, you may find it tedious to list out all the factors to find the answer. Sometimes it is very hard for us to list out all the factors, especially when the numerator is very large. Let's find out a better way of working out the answer. Notice that the number behind x is 8. When 40 is divided by 8, the result is 5. We may say that 8 and 5 form a factor pair because 8 times 5 equals 40. Actually, we can use the factor 5 to work out the factor 8. Let's solve the equation again by using the factor 5. First, we copy the equation to solve. Notice that the number behind x and 5 form a factor pair. Also notice that the positions of the two factors are interchangeable. 
the reason is when 40 is divided by a factor, the result will be the other factor. Therefore, we can write Forty divided by five is eight. The third line becomes eight equals x. Lastly, we write x equals eight. Let's see if the answer is really eight. Personally, I call this method as factor pair method because I use a factor to find the other factor in the pair. Which method do you like more? The factor selection method or the factor pair method? Let's solve another equation. First, we copy the equation to solve. Then we use a calculator to check if the number on the right is a factor of 137,052. Yes, it is. This means that the number behind x is also a factor of 137,052. The second line is using a calculator 137,052 divided by 324 is 423. The third line is lastly x equals 423. Let's see if the number behind x is really 423. Yes, it is. Let me give you five more equations to solve as exercise. You may assume that the number on the right of each equation is a factor of the numerator on the left. The answers will be given at the end of this video. Look at this equation. The number on the right is 2.5. It is a mixed decimal. It is not an integer. Clearly, 2.5 is not a factor of 40. If it is a factor of 40, these two numbers are interchangeable. In reality, these two numbers are not factors of 40. Can we still exchange these two numbers to form a valid equation? The answer is yes. The reason is very simple. Although the two numbers are not the factors of 40, when they are multiplied together, the result is 40. We may say that the two numbers form a multiplication pair. Notice that when 40 is divided by a number in the multiplication pair, the result will be the other number in the pair. Therefore, we can exchange the two numbers to form a valid equation because the two numbers form a multiplication pair. Let's solve the equation. First, we copy the equation to solve. Then, by observation, we know that these two numbers form a multiplication pair, so we can exchange the two numbers. Using a calculator, 40 divided by 2.5 is 16. The third line becomes 16. Lastly, we write x equals 16. Let's see if the number behind x is really 16. Yes, it is. Let's look at this equation again. This equation and all other equations discussed today follow a pattern. On the left, there is only one fraction. And on the right, there is only one number. Personally, I call this type of equations as fraction value equation because the number on the right is actually the value of the fraction. The most important thing is that the number on the right and the number at the denominator form a multiplication pair. 
This means that these two numbers are interchangeable. This property is particularly useful when we solve problems concerning a right-angled triangle. Look at the diagram. What is C? I mean, what is the number behind C? We are given that the number behind C is a mixed decimal with two decimal places. We are also given that when 20 is divided by the number behind C, the result is 0 0.788. Let's work out the number behind C step by step. First, we use an equation to express the given information. When 20 is divided by the number behind C, the result is 0 0.788. Notice that the equation belongs to the type of equations that we are discussing. The pattern is, on the left, there is only a fraction, and on the right, there is only a number. From our previous discussion, the number on the right and the number at the denominator form a multiplication pair. The two numbers are interchangeable. Therefore, the second nine is... Using a calculator, 20 divided by 0 0.788 is 25.38071066. The third line is... Lastly, we correct the answer to two decimal places. The fourth line is C is approximately 25.38. Let's see if the number behind C is really 25.38. Yes, it is. This kind of equations can be easily solved because the number on the right and the number at the denominator form a multiplication pair and they are interchangeable. I'd like you to solve five more equations of the same type as exercise. Correct your answers to three significant figures. The answers will be given at the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video.